Hello, and thank you for having me. Uh, thanks to the Focused Ultrasound Foundation, Neil, Jess. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you all for being here today. I want to start off where President Biden and the First Lady so often start, with hope. I don't have to tell this crowd that we don't mean hope in the abstract. We mean hope grounded in science, hope grounded in quality care, hope grounded in keeping families together, hope represented by every survivor enabled by the work of those um, in this room. There's so much reason for hope. That's why in February, President Biden reignited the cancer moonshot and set bold new goals to decrease the death rate from cancer by at least 50% over the next 25 years and to improve the experience of people, their families and caregivers through living with and surviving cancer. This of course means investing in research and innovation to develop new ways to prevent, detect and treat cancer and making sure that we reach more Americans with the tools we already have. This is possible because of decades of progress. Over the first 20 years of this century, the age adjusted death rate from cancer has fallen by about 25%, which means more people are surviving cancer and living longer after being diagnosed with cancer. That was enabled by progress on multiple fronts. Treatments can now target specific mutations in cancer cells. We can use our own immu immune system to detect and kill cancer cells. We have a vaccine, the HPV vaccine, which prevents the cause of up to seven kinds of cancer. New tools like improved mammograms, CT scans, colonoscopies can detect cancers or precancerous lesions early when there are good options for treatment or prevention. And we have seen dramatic decreases in long-term cigarette use, especially, young, in, especially in young people. The Cancer Moonshot mission started in 2016 uh, when then Vice President Biden led an effort to double the rate of progress against cancer, a goal to which so many here and throughout the cancer community responded with passion, ingenuity, and commitment. But despite the progress of lives extended and lives saved, cancer is still the number two cause of death in America, second only to heart disease. We lose more than 600,000 Americans a year to cancer. 1.8 million families each year are devastated by a cancer diagnosis. The work President Biden launched the final year of the Obama-Biden administration led to the launch of new programs, policies, and collaborations from federal agencies and the private philanthropic health and research sectors and patient groups everywhere. Actions that addressed the patient experience from diagnosis through survivorship. One major highlight, five years ago with the bipartisan passage and enactment of the 21st Century Cures Act, Congress invested $1.8 billion, providing seven years of new funding for cancer research in many areas, including studies on cancer disparities, new clinical trial networks to drive drug discovery, and innovative projects examining childhood cancer. The law streamlined cancer-related decision-making at the FDA through the formation of an oncology center of excellence so that effective treatments can be approved faster, and most importantly, patients have, can have more direct access to information about the regulatory process. That work continued over the intervening four years in labs, treatment centers, hospital, community care providers, organizations like yours, and even in the halls of Congress. The Cancer moon Moonshot from 2016 created a movement that was carried forward by so many. When President Biden took office, he was determined to supercharge the work and bring back his leadership and a whole of government effort back to the Cancer Moonshot. President Biden often says he wants to end cancer as we know it. We took that statement and defined specifically how we know cancer today. Too often, we diagnose it too late. We have too few tools or do too little to prevent it. There are stark inequities in diagnosis, access to treatments and trials and outcomes. We know too little about how to target treatments to patients. There are cancers for which we still lack good strategies to develop treatments, like some of the deadliest diagnoses, rare in childhood cancers. We leave most patients and caregivers to navigate the disease and its aftermath, including survivorship on their own, and we don't learn the, from the experiences of most patients. In each of these areas, we can point to a new approach to caring for patients or a new innovation that can be brought to make progress. We offer this up as a shared agenda, and we know so many of you are already making progress. In addition to a White House initiative, the Cancer Moonshot is a platform to highlight great work contributing to this mission. And so I'm so excited to see the progress being made by the community represented here to drive progress for patients through the use of focused ultrasound and other technologies. 
to provide treatments for cancers like breast and prostate cancer, to provide pre management in cancer and beyond, to pair a focus ultrasound with existing treatments like immunotherapies to improve the reach and impact of those treatments. You all are doing so much that can contribute to the way that we can end cancer as we know it. Please share your ideas, new actions, and collaborations with us at whitehouse.gov slash cancer moonshot. On our side, we formed a first ever cancer cabinet, bringing together everyone uh, from the Department of Defense and Veterans Affairs, Health and Human Services, FDA, and Health and, uh, and, and National Institutes of Health to the Department of Energy and NASA. It's driving a whole of government effort to unleash every possible asset within our power. This cancer cabinet identified priority actions, which will be of interest, I think, to many in this room. One, to close the screening gap. Two, to understand and address environmental exposure. Three, to decrease the impact of preventable cancers. Four, to bring cutting edge research through the pipeline to patients and communities. And five, to better support patients and caregivers. Last month on the 60th anniversary of President Kennedy's moonshot speech, President Biden spoke from the JFK Library in Boston. He announced new actions from his administration to realize the, the promise of the cancer moonshot to end cancer as we know it. That included announcing the inaugural director of ARPA-H, a new agency that is driving biomedical innovation, supporting the health of all Americans and addressing health challenges like cancer. Signing an executive order to launch a national biotechnology and biomanufacturing initiative and ensure to ensure that cutting edge biotechnologies and other, other innovations are made in America, uh, not just invented here, but made in America. And outlined the cancer cabinet's progress, including NCI launching a large national trial that, if successful, will identify effective blood tests for the detection of one or more cancers, providing the opportunity for additional less invasive tools for early detection and opened a brand new early career grant opportunity, the Cancer Moonshot Scholars, to invest in the next generation of innovative cancer researchers with a focus on developing a cancer research workforce that is more representative of the US population that pulls from its talents across the country. Announcements earlier this year from the Biden-Harris administration are early deliverables from the cancer cabinet to target these priority goals. This includes the Inflation Reduction Act, capping out-of-pocket prescription drug costs at $2,000 per year for Medicare beneficiaries. Because of this law, tens of thousands of cancer patients could see their prescription drug costs go down by thousands annually. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention issued more than $200 million in grants to advance national cancer prevention and control through cancer screening programs reaching every state, U.S. territories, and tribal organizations. The, Envir the Environmental Protection Agency, as part of implementation of the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law, dedicated $1 billion to accelerate cleanup at up to 80 previously underfunded Superfund sites and committed $7.4 billion to help states replace lead pipes and service lines, which will protect millions of families from so-called forever chemicals and other contaminants that may increase people's risk of getting cancers. The Department of Veterans Affairs is now leading the implementation of the Bipartisan PACT Act, so veterans with cancer and other diseases may now be el eligible for healthcare and expedited disability claims. The National Cancer Institute announced new efforts to connect underrepresented populations with clinical trials, and the Department of Defense is expanding to all its hospitals, a signature clinical research program, the Apollo Network. They're expanding it to all cancer types as well. This is a list among many others. We're doing all we can from the federal government and called on everyone to do their part. But as I said, we're just getting started. Over the coming months, we will feature new announcements from the Cancer Cabinet to show additional steps, the additional steps we will take to make impact as part of the Biden-Harris administration whole of government effort for the cancer moonshot. In addition, and I hope you hear this loud and clear, President Biden is calling on the scientific community to bring its boldest thinking to this fight, medical and public health community to improve outreach to uh, and support for underserved communities to help patients and families have the best experience possible while living with and surviving cancer and to improve patient outcomes. Calling on the private sector to step up, to develop and test new treatments, to share more data and knowledge, and to collaborate on tools that can benefit all Americans. And respectfully calling on people living with cancer and survivors 
their caregivers and families, and those who have lost someone to keep sharing their perspectives and experiences and to keep pushing for progress. We believe that together, building on your expertise and commitment, we can end cancer as we know it. So thank you for the work you do. Thank you for coming together around this really important topic. And thanks for giving me the time to provide an update on the president's vision for this initiative. Really looking forward to hearing the outcomes of your work and um, more conversations to come. Thank you.